remember that you're an asset. Always remember this. You're not a sorry case. You're not a charity case. You are an asset anywhere you go to. Remember that you are there to add value. Hi ladies, how are you all doing? It's your girl Remy, your image and etiquette coach here at Today Modules London. So today ladies, I'm here to do a video to give you some quick tips on how to get a seat at the table because as women there's one thing I know we all want to be successful we all want to be seen we all want to be noticed we want to be acknowledged but the question is how do we go about it the right way okay number one ladies do not go in there playing the arm a woman card you are not a sorry case you are not a pity party you don't really want people giving you the job just because you're a woman. You want to get the job because you're qualified and because you have all it takes. Let them be amazed at how amazing you are. Don't go there telling the story of your life or how much you've gone through. Let it be a surprise to people when they eventually get to know how much you've had to go through as a woman and still bring the best at everything you do. So please, whatever you do, do not try to get a seat at the table by playing the woman card. Number two, ladies, I need you to talk less and act more, especially when there's crisis. I find that as women, we tend to get overly emotional. We're crying, we're shouting, we're saying too much, we're throwing tantrums. And unfortunately, this is one of the reasons why we're not getting a seat at the table because most times we're doing things with our heart instead of our head. And the truth is when you're trying to deal with very sensitive cases, serious matters, you need to toughen up. So I need you to act more. So when there's something you need to deal with, get into action, deal with it and let people see what you can do. Number three, ladies, remember that you're an asset. Always remember this. You're not a sorry case. You're not a charity case. You are an asset anywhere you go to. Remember that you are there to add value. So whatever it is that you do, if they've given you an assignment, go over and beyond. Don't under deliver, over deliver. Try your best to do and give as much as you can. Let people see the value that you bring to the table. This way they understand that letting go of you will be a loss for them to them. So ensure ladies that you are an asset and not a liability. Number four, show your competition who the boss is. I know we all don't like this word competition, competitor. I don't wanna think about them, but here's the thing. Competition can be healthy. It can be a good thing. It keeps you on your toes. When you know that you're not the only one in the game, you're not the only one doing these things, you are aware that you can't afford to be complacent, to just be laid back and not bring your A game. So whenever you see competition, instead of seeing them as an enemy, see them as a good thing, as that person, that thing, that business that will help you to go to the next level. So instead of being angry, bring your A game every time. Keep bringing the best version of you. Show them who the boss is. Because here's the thing, even if people are copying you, remember this, the only reason why they're copying you is because you're doing something awesome. Nobody copies mediocrity. So think about it that way and ensure that you're doing things right. My fifth and final point today, ladies, is make it hard to get rid of you. Ladies, make it so hard to let you go. I'm going to read um, an article that a client of mine sent to me last week and it made me laugh and it, I just thought I would share it with you. I'll read it quickly. I just, you know, paraphrase. It says, Another tip to enhance your persona in front of your boss and colleagues is to take a phone call or two in between the meeting. It's likely to make others intimidated. Make it look like your phone call is more important than the meeting. Don't do this. Don't do this because what you're doing is making it easy to get rid of you. And remember, my fifth tip is make it hard to get rid of you. When you're in a meeting, ladies, Except it is an extremely important call or call that you must answer 
please put your phone on silent and answer after the meeting. There is nothing nice. There is nothing intimidating about a lady who doesn't have manners, who isn't considerate of other people's time and effort. There is nothing intimidating about you. Actually, it's irritating. People want to get rid of you. They're not going to call you the next time. You might get yourself fired. You will not get a seat at a table because it just shows that you don't respect people's time. You don't even respect people and the other people there. Why do you have to try to create an impression that is not real, that is not true? Who are you trying to intimidate by answering one or two phone calls in a meeting? Don't do this, ladies. Don't. All right, ladies, that's it from me today. I hope you found these tips helpful. Remember that you can be the best version of yourself if you start taking actionable steps today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.